We talked about in-grade testing in the lesson structural grades and stress grades. These tests found that traditional F grades were not always accurate in predicting how full-length pieces of timber would perform in an actual structure. The problem was a particular issue for radiata pine and some of the other plantation pines, since they're far and away the most commonly used species in wall frames, roof trusses, and other building applications. Pines also tend to be knotty by nature, unlike most hardwoods, so it was never going to be an easy matter finding a universal strength rating system that would suit all types of timber. In order to overcome the problem with the pines, a new set of MGP grades was developed. The MGP system is based directly on the modulus of elasticity of the timber. You'll recall that in the last lesson we said that MOE is a measure of stiffness, and the higher the MOE, the stiffer the timber is. Basic MGP machines work like F-grading machines, since they still bend the board and measure its resistance to deflection. But instead of calculating an F-grade via an assumed modulus of rupture, they simply state the MOE category that the board falls into. For example, a board graded MGP-10 will have a minimum MOE of 10,000 megapascals. More modern machines use sonar and x-ray technology to analyze the timber and assess its strength-reducing defects. This information is processed by the scanner's computer to calculate an MGP grade. If you're working with span tables or building plans that specify F-grades, you can use MGP-10 to replace F-5, MGP-12 to replace F-8, and MGP-15 to replace F-11. However, this doesn't mean that you can use the same substitution process in reverse. That is, F-graded material can't be used where MGP grades have been specified. The reason is that F-grades were only ever designed to assess the bending strength of a piece, and any other properties, such as compressive, tensile, and shear strength, are assumed to be more or less proportionate based on the board's grade. By contrast, MGP tables cover a wide range of properties, and engineers have all of these attributes at their disposal when they're making design calculations. So when a certain MGP grade is specified for a structural member, it could be based on factors other than simply its safe working stress in bending.